It's a dark one. I mean, very, very fresh. It's very new. I mean, it's so new that its history, its whole history, its whole story of its beginning, even though it's 30 years old, has not really been written yet. The smells of it, the grittiness of it, and there's, there's a sense of edginess to it, too. Using a spray paint can is one of the best. It's just like an intriguing kind of art form. It's all about the con using the control of your hand for everything, you know, for every little effect. It's not so much so just smashing down on the cap, letting off of it at the right time. There's a lot to it. I mean, it's, it's the evolution of the written letter and the written word, which is a lost art form. I mean, there used to be whole businesses and industries dedicated just specifically to people that could do fonts by hand, that, could, that were masters of the letter form itself, the calligraphy. And I think that um, graffiti artists have really been granted kind of like a, uh, a sacred task of keeping that going. It's a useful tool to say, hey, these are the positives or the negatives about what our society is. And, and, and reading that writing on the wall is essentially no different than reading the writing on the wall 2,000, 3,000 years ago. Well, this is very important, you know. I can't think of how uninteresting it would be if there was no graffiti and being someone who's into art and stuff like that to see nothing. It's hard to imagine what that would be like if there wasn't any murals or graffiti. If you think about the Detroit scene as a graffiti scene, it, it was always how it is now. There just wasn't a hype about it. There just wasn't, you know, any media about it. I was at an event, and then I got to meet Matt Simoncini, the CEO of Lear. I showed him a lot of my work. He told me he wanted it, but I didn't really take it serious because it's just a quick conversation. A few months later, down the line, you know, they contact me. My name is Freddy Diaz. I'm from Southwest Detroit. I'm 24 years old, and I've been living here all my life, born and raised. When a company like Lear asks you to come and do something in one of their establishments, you just got to. And they set up one heck of a lineup, so I couldn't like be like, ah, I think I'm good. I um, fell 3,000 feet. I am a graffiti slash street artist from Detroit, and I've been doing that since 1982. Freddie had uh, approached me about six months ago and asked me if I wanted to be involved in a collaborative art project with a bunch of uh, local local artists. So I was like, yeah. Definitely. My name is Joe Ferry. I'm from Macomb, Michigan. That's where I'm from. I've been doing uh, graffiti for about 10 years now. And we've all known each other for a very long time. We work well together. My name is Kobe Solomon, and I am from Detroit. I've been working with spray paint for about 23 years. And I, I got into this just because it's so challenging. I was really, really inspired by graffiti when I was a kid. I just loved the way it looked. We've all worked on projects like in the same realm. We've just never really worked together. I'm Teed. I was born and raised in Southern Michigan. The whole process of setting the, the job up and you know months process of setting everything in stone and getting here and finally ended up doing it. It's really cool. When we were first set up a meeting in Southfield, you know, everybody was able to go and walk the showroom. Um, I was just impressed with the work that they do and uh, I thought that, you know, I wanted to highlight it. When you're already work, doing work for a company that does good work, it's not hard to promote what they do. I came up with this concept, like, there were so many different color palettes, and, but I think red was probably the coolest color because it's the Lear color. And, you know, um, it's just it's sexy, man. The piece is more like, not just the grit and the backbone and the schematics are representative of like, 
what it is they do, but the doves are also a reflection of like their ideas being able to take flight. The girl's lit from the, from the face looking upward up the stairwell, and she's releasing these ideas into the world. They pretty much left us to do our thing, you know, and trusted us, which is cool. It's relevant to the fine art I'm doing right now. It's also kind of inspired by patterns I saw at the uh, Lear showroom in Southfield. My piece, I guess, I was kind of came from like just thoughts of when I close my eyes and shapes that popped into my head. You know, try new stuff, you know, little, you know, how I'm going to face a, the colors together. Or, like, just this part to me is like a piece in itself. It's really, really cool that Lear is part of this. It's, it's great that we are allowed to be part of it, too. Well, there is a, uh, there's an anamorphic perspective experiment or a trick of the eye, a little uh, optical illusion in two places in this piece. Uh, focal point is pretty much where I'm standing. The non-parallel lines of the L, they appear to go straight into the corner. And also these letters here, the A and the R, when you stand in the right spot, they line up and it almost appears that the letters go straight into the wall. I was thinking about some of the more literal attributes of Detroit, deep thought, industry, uh, technology, and I ended up deciding on a, a robotic representation of the thinker. It's too far to the right. It's, I mean, it's just going to screw the composition up, so it's probably going to have to make the illusion of, you know, a block effect coming here. You know what I'm saying? Like some extr extrusion. And I'll put his, put his butt right there. collaboration between Fell and Teed and myself. You know, the three of us have had discussions about how we're going to set this up, what's going to go where, you know, how we're going to be fusing our artwork together and you know, making one big cohesive piece with all of us. It's awesome. have been friends for a long time. And we get to work side by side on the same thing. We get to explore ideas and mash away on each other's own personal things we're painting on, you know? So it's like, it's really cool we get to work with each other. Right now I'm just generally mapping out where I believe we are going to be doing our stuff. This is just me basically taking all of our conversations and trying to throw them at the wall. Completely stoked with the lineup because it was an honor for me to be able to paint with these guys. Well, yeah, tell me about, what you're thinking. I wasn't thinking about these being big gears. Like we had talked about what is this? Is it just right. like an armature? No, what I got going here is uh, I'm gonna probably gonna do the plaster here. I'm gonna try and do like another little perspective thing here where this line butts up. Yeah, yeah. What I was thinking about the silhouette ones is if we could do some some big ones, you know, like your standard background, however you want to treat your background, bring it over this way. Yeah, Jay sure. is like. Really happy and you know impressed and, and proud to be in this building. I always want to do art for people that are going to walk these steps, so they, they don't want to take the elevator. <laughs> I'm extremely, I don't even have the word for it, excited is not enough. You know, feeling validated along with my comrades and, and fellow artists here in the scene, that's not enough either. Well, it lets people know that there's, there's people thinking outside the box and making something out of nothing. So yeah, it is important that it's there, for sure. When I walked in here, I was, I was one of the last guys painting on the wall. And I started to look around and I was like, holy cow, these guys brought it. Make something happen on you know, a scale that we normally wouldn't get the chance to. So it's just a cool, fun project to be a part of. It's great to be a part of that process in any, in any way. It's very relevant to a city and to the rebirth of a city or, or to social change in any way, shape, or form. That's the beauty of it.